Tara mga kadadi, let's go to Pampanga. Dito kami papunta sa Lala Garden Cafe in Angeles City, Pampanga. Alam nyo ba na ang Pampanga is the first Luzon province created by the Spaniards in 1571, just two hours away from Manila and considered as the culinary capital of the Philippines. Ang sasarap ng pagkain dito, sisig, tosino, betute, bringhe, morcon, bulanglang, at tibok-tibo. Ang dami pang iba. Pampanga is also ranked as number 12 based on 2022 DTI's top Philippines province. Ang galing ha, top 12. They are also known as the Tilapia capital of the country due to their high production since 2015. Isama nyo pa yung kanilang famous Christmas lantern, wood carving, and furniture making. At pati na po yung casket o ataul, metal chairs, and chandeliers. Ang dami nilang business industry dito, ano? Pero what I'm really impressed about this province is the Kapampangan's recovery and resiliency after the Mount Pinatubo's 1991 volcanic eruption that set off a lingering disaster in the entire Central Luzon. But in the span of 32 years, look, ang ganda na ulit ng Pampanga. May dalawang SNR Warehouse Club pa located in San Fernando and Dao. Ayun, malapit na tayo. Lala Garden is located in Ponsetti Avenue, Golden Dragon Village, Barangay Pampang, Angel City. Uy, ang laki ng parking. Mukhang bago pa talaga as they just opened early March of 2023. Is this a cafe? A gym? A warehouse? Theater? A factory? Ang laki nito ha! Very nice exterior. Red bricks, white glass mirrors, a British architecture inspired. It also reminds me of the Redstone Building in San Francisco and other state colleges structure. Malaki pa ang space sila outside for future improvements. Opens daily from 8 a.m. to 12 midnight. But wait, door sign says no pets allowed. Anyway, let's check inside muna. Wow, this is a huge building para magkape. Two floors of full dining capacity with a staircase heating features. Fully air-conditioned, surrounded by potted green plants. This is a haven sa mga plantitos at plantitas na mahilig magkape. Very Instagrammable ang place para to showcase your OTD outfit for today. Ang ganda din ng ceiling drop lights at Starbucks chandeliers nila. Very well interiored at spacious ang kanilang tables. May leather seats, modern plastic chairs, and you can choose a variety. Depende sa trip mo kung gusto mo ng amphitheater feel, doon ka sa staircase seating. Kung picnic style, doon ka sa mga tables on the side with their landscape artificial grass. Very casual ang ambiance for get-together at very spacious talaga. Ang ganda ng mga LED Edison bulbs dito. Meron kaya nga sa Shabby? Matcha nga. But wait, dito muna tayo. Check natin yung CR. Important yan. Ayun, separate restrooms for boys and girls. Ayun, mukhang okay naman at marinis. May pila kaya dito pag madaming tao? Hmm. Today is Monday lunch kaya konti pa ang tao. Pwede kang mag-skateboard dito. Ang laki ah. Nagkapik ka na, nag-exercise ka pa. Check natin yung mga food available sila for today. This is a self-serving cafe. Ito yung bakery. Check natin yung bread and pastries lineup nila. Wow! Ang daming choices at ang lalaki ng breads and looks very good. Goodbye diet ka dito. May sausage bread, eclairs, cookies, croissants, sandwiches, salads. Price point average is at 150 for breads and pastries. Salad at 300 pesos and up. Kulang ang 500 pesos mo dito pag madami kang trip na pastries unless sharing kayo ng kadate mo. Dito yung self-serving ordering at madami pa silang menu. Balikan natin later. Check muna natin yung upper floor muna. Okay, let's go! Very industrial design ang feel. Wala palang escalator or elevator ha. Not PWD access friendly going up. Anyway, malaki naman yung ground floor in case may kasama kayong naka-wheelchair. Oo nga pala. Wala pala akong napansin na bike. Pwede kayo ipasok. Or, I don't know, wala kasi rin bike parking sa labas. So anyway, eto na yung second floor. Parang hallway ng school, di ba? Ang laki. Parang ang nasa mall na may view pa ng mini lagoon, fountain, with a lagoon bridge. Okay ang aesthetics. Sugod na kayo dito mga marites at mukhang mag -e echo ang chismisan nyo dito sa laki. Paano kaya rin ang servings dito ng orders? Ang laki eh. Pag nasa second floor, probably toxic ito sa mga waiters pag demanding ang guests. Oh, may leather sofa sila ha? at medyo malalayo ang spacing. I bet, uso dito ang sigawan para magkarinigan. Ang laki ng hallway nito. Eat and burn your calories ang peg pag mahilig kang mag-ikot-ikot para mag-dance-dance ka ng TikTok. Anyway, order ka ulit at good business yan para sa kanila. See the huge Starbucks chandelier. Maganda talaga yung aesthetics.
Temperature-wise, it's cool considering it's 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay pa yung ventilation system nila. Pero sa laki, hindi mo feel na nasa coffee shop ka at wala akong naamoy na kape sa mga Starbucks na pagpas mo pa lang eh, boom na ang caffeine. Oops. Maybe uh, pag lahat nag-order ng kape, amoy kape na. Anyway, I like this amphitheater seating, balcony feel, to watch all the crowd at magsikahan. Okay dito kung may big screen sa gitna no? at may NBA playoffs or my live concert stream, bebenta yun. This is the sad part. Meet our little very cute dog na kasama namin. Very cute ano, pero hindi pwede pumasok kasi nga, no pets allowed inside. Not a pet-friendly establishment for now. So beware mga pet owners coming from Manila or passersby na for parents na gusto mag-visit. As per the Google reply sa aking online feedback, it's due to health and safety concerns. Nagpapagawa pa daw sila ng alfresco dining where pets can dine in soon. Kailan kaya yon? Anyway, sana soon as high-end malls in Manila nga is pet-friendly na. Anyway, mag-takeout muna kami. Dito yung counter, heads up, cash or GCash transaction only. FYI sa mga kahit and debs card customers ha. Ito yung menu board nila, pizza at 570, boneless chicken at 590, smoothies, yogurt and fruit juices at 210 and up, teas at 150, lemonades at 170, espresso variances at 180, frappe at 210, set meals at 420, pasta at 350 average. Look, one size lang ang mga coffee and frappes nila ha. Ito yung takeout station. At my drinking station na self-service din. This is the biggest cafe in Pampanga today. It's worth a try. Thanks for watching.